dreamed of being a farmer. When I was younger, I dreamed of being a teacher. I dreamed of being a dancer. I dreamed of being a National Geographic photographer. I dreamed of being a double dog spy. I dreamed of being a veterinarian. I dreamed of being a baseball player like Richie Ashburn. People said I looked like him. I dreamed of being a genetic engineer. When I was younger, I dreamed of being an NBA point guard. I dreamed of being a physical therapist. When I was a kid, I really wanted to be a sheriff. I think it was because I wanted like a horse and that cool hat and a badge. Yeah. I always dreamed of being a journalist. I dreamed of being an artist and a cook. I dreamed of being a doctor until I realized I didn't like work. I, dream, I always dreamed of being a phys ed teacher. It's what I always wanted to do. I dreamed of being a teacher. I dreamed of being a fashion designer. I dreamed of being the person that found a cure for cancer. I dreamed of being a rock star. When I grew up, I wanted to be... A grown up. When I was a teenager, I wanted to grow up to be a writer. I dreamed of being a nurse. Hello? Yes? Yes, I'm his father. He did what? All right, yeah, I'll tell him. Tony boy, you better get down here.
What is it, Dad? Goodness. Can't you see I'm too busy drawing the whirlwind? What? What have you been doing after school this week? Gosh, I've been going to work like you've been telling me to. What else? Then why is your boss calling me and telling me that you haven't shown up? Oh, gosh. Tony, tell me the truth. <sighs> okay, okay, so I've been drawing cartoons, so what? You've been doing what? What did I tell you about this art stuff? Yeah, I know, I know, you told me to put it aside. I get it, Dad. Listen, you haven't even seen my artwork. I don't even need this job. What are you talking about? We need money, son. Don't you see what's happening around here? I don't want to see your art. I need you to pull your weight. You're, now Leo does his part, now why can't you do yours? Put your pencil down and get yourself into gear, son. You need to do what I tell you to. Leo, all he does is cause trouble. Of course you wouldn't understand. Understand what? You know what's so funny? This argument has been going on for the last four weeks and I'm sick and tired of it. Look, what you don't understand, there's a pencil in my hand and I'm gonna put this pencil to use. You keep on wanting me to work, you keep on acting like a jerk and I can't put up with this abuse. You see the managers are lazy, the workers are crazy and everybody's crazy and mean. But when I'm up in my room and I'm drawing cartoons, man, it feels like I'm living the dream. Huh. You know my art takes time and it's making me think. You know my words are like a Sharpie marker permanent ink. But I don't think you understand the way I'm using my brain. Every time you criticize, I think I might go insane. All you care about is money and a house and a home. But you don't ever care about me. You should leave me alone. You cause enough trauma. You cause enough pain. And you cause enough stress way too hard to maintain. All I do is work and I really need a break. You just need to listen to your father, goodness sakes. You are so impatient, Dad, you really need to wait. All these stupid arguments are something that I hate. All I do is work and I really need a break. You just need to listen to your father, goodness sakes. You are so impatient, Dad, you really need to wait. All these stupid arguments are something that I hate Well you already know that your art's a distraction Why don't you sell your art and make it a main attraction? Don't argue with your manager cause he made the call Still instead you're drawing sketching with no money involved You're a slacker, that's really all you'll ever be If you don't work, I know that it's a guarantee Don't argue with your dad cause I'm the one who brought you in You will always lose, don't think that you'll ever win Man, you still don't get it, do you? Work and I really need a break. You just need to listen to your father, for goodness sakes. <laughs> you are so impatient, Dad, you really need to wait. All these stupid arguments are something that I hate. All I do is work and I really need a break. You just need to listen to your father, for goodness sakes. You are so impatient, Dad, you really need to wait. All these stupid arguments are something that I hate. You know what? I don't have time to argue with you. You know, if your mother were here today, she would know what to do. Now until we solve this issue with your job, you're grounded. Now go to your room. You know, right? You're right. If my mom were here today, she would know what to do. Thing is, I never got to know my mom. Son, if I could bring her back, I would, but for right now, I need your help. Can't you see that? that fight. Man, you're so stupid. Why don't you just do what dad told you to do? Leo, can you please leave me alone? And what are you always drawing? It's like you're the little brother around here. Leo, can you please leave me alone? Of course you're gonna take dad's side of things. When's the last time somebody took my point of view? Doesn't anybody believe in me? Doesn't anyone believe in me? Doesn't anyone believe in me? Nope, guess not. Whoa! Who are you? Wait, Katrina? That can't be my comic book coming to life in front of me. Young soul, don't you recognize me? I'm your drawing Katrina. I've always been with you, inside of your heart. I know that things are tough right now, but you had to have faith and stay passionate about your work. Follow your own dreams. <laughs> faith? Dreams? It's exactly what my dad doesn't understand. <sighs> You know, I feel like he always wants me to go the same route as he um, he is. He's, 
Tony, don't worry. One day your father will understand who you are and what you're truly meant to be. Yeah, that's kind of funny. How come my own cartoon character knows more about my personal life than my real life dad? Well, after all, I am your own drawing. All of your thoughts and ideas go straight to me, whatever you're thinking of. I really need your help. I'm going through this pain, I just can't do this myself. See, my dad, he's trying to do his best. His wife has died and he never gets his rest. But in my world, you're by my side. Just draw and draw till I feel fine. Till I feel fine. That's why I gotta move to my goal. Move to my goal. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. Move to my goal. Move to your goal. Move to my goal. Move to your goal. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. Tony, keep your head up high. Don't stop now and don't you cry. You are the artist in the world you create. Just keep on pushing before it's too late. But in this world, I'm by you. I just draw and draw till you feel fine Till you feel fine That's why you gotta move to your goal Move to your goal Don't let it go was that? Contemptible vermin. Yeah, contemptible human. I am mastermind. He is mastermind. Minnie Mine, would you let me handle this? Sorry, boss. See where your resistance gets you? You don't know what you're dealing with. I don't have to listen to you. You can't control me. All of your ideas are a lie! They're a lie! Oh my god. Minnie Mine, I said would you let me handle this? <laughs> what do you want with me? Just do what you're told. I won't do anything you tell me to do. Do what I tell you to or face the consequences! Yeah, face the consequences! What consequences, boss? Minnie Mine, come here. I said, would you let me handle this? Sorry, boss. Oh, man. <sighs> Mastermind, leave now or you'll be the one facing the consequences. I will not. Not until you bow to my every whim. Tony, what are you doing? What did I tell you about this art stuff? Oh Dad, I still don't get why you don't understand why you don't want me to do this. This is my passion. This is what I like to do. And if you don't like it, then... Look, just leave me alone. You know what? Fine. But you have to go to work tomorrow. 
I can't go to work tomorrow. I'm too busy drawing the whirlwind. Oh Would you quit it with all of this? Do what I tell you to. You are in so much trouble. One sec, I'll be right there. Oh, hey, oh, come in. Hi. Yeah, how are you? I'm good. Are you Tony? Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Jennifer. Oh. Nice to meet you. Um, my, your dad, apparently your dad and my mom talked at the store earlier. Mm -hmm. He said if we needed anything, we could just stop by. Oh, uh, well, what do you need? Well, it turns out we need help getting set up. Do you guys have any tools? I believe so. I'll be right back. Let me check. All right. All right. Tools like you asked. Thank you. No problem. I was also wondering if maybe you and your dad would like to join us for dinner? Um. That doesn't seem like a problem, I guess. I just have to ask him. So, it's a date then? Oh, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call it a date. Relax, dude. I was only joking. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just, I don't know. I don't want to get into it with a total stranger, you know? Just, me and my dad haven't been happy at times. I hope you understand. Tell me about it. Well, listen. Maybe we could be friends, and perhaps I will help you. Sounds cool to me. Yeah. Yes, all right, I'll tell him. Thank you. College. My son. My son is going to college. Tony, get down here. I've got some great news. News. Hey, what is what, what? What is it, Dad? I've got some great news, son. I just found out that my company is offering free scholarships to children of employees for their Young Entrepreneurs Training Program, and you just got one. Now I know this isn't really your thing, but remember that I was a janitor for 18 years. 18 years, son. Don't let this chance pass you by. Dad, what about my artwork? But I already applied to art school. Art school, son. You can't get a living drawing cartoons. You need to start thinking more realistically about your life. You know, I don't know who told you to shoot for the stars, but this whole art school thing is just some distant dream. Why do you not Take the papers. Do the right thing. You're kidding me. First it's the argument, and now it's these stupid papers. Free entrepreneur. What about my art? <laughs> Should I fill it out? Is it a yes or no? Should I fill it out? Because you told me so. Should I fill it out? Is it a yes or no? Should I fill it out? Because you told me so. Look, I'm gonna be honest for real. What is the deal? Don't even know how I feel and this is a good opportunity but none of this is getting through to me. I wanna make my dad proud, spread it around. I'd be the talk of the town and this is a good opportunity but none of this is getting through to me. Should I read between these lines? All I really need is a sign. This is where my future's headed. Stop my art, I will regret it. Should I move on from my passion? I can't let this happen. Should I fill it out? Is it a yes or no? Should I fill it out? Because you told me so. Should I fill it out? Is it a yes or no? Should I fill it out? Because you told me so. Look, I know it's free. I know it's free. A free scholarship's the only thing that's stopping me. I know it's free. I know it's free. But if I sign, I swear there must be something wrong with me. Should I read between those lines? All I really need is a sign. 
This is where my future's headed. Stop my art, I will regret it. Should I move on from my passion? I can't let this happen. Should I fill it out? Is it a yes or no? Should I fill it out? Because he told me so. Should I fill it out? Is it a yes or no? Should I fill it out? Because he told me so. Should I fill it out? Is it a yes or no? Should I fill it out? Because he told me so. Should I fill it out? Is it a yes or no? Should I fill it out? Because he told me so. Ah, whirlwind. So I see we meet again. Nice to see you. Mini mine, mastermind for the last time. You can't control me. <laughs> In your dreams, whirlwimp. Whirlwimp. <laughs> 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 You see, Whirlwind, I've stopped heroes before just like you. And they all had dreams and passions, and I watched as those dreams crumbled along with themselves. And now it's your turn. No! Uh, boss! Uh, 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 meet my sidekick, Katrina. Nice to meet you. Uh, you see, Mastermind, the difference between you and I is once I pursue something creative, nobody can stop me. And as long as World One has that mindset, he can accomplish anything. Yeah, maybe you should try giving that a shot. Boss? One sec. Hey, Tony. Oh, hey, Jen, how's it going? Nothing much. How's life been treating you? Uh, funny you say that. Life hasn't been going so well for me. Why? What's wrong? Jen, do you have a moment? I gotta talk yeah, to you about something. Yeah, anything. So, there's this free entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneur training at my dad's work, and he wants me to do that instead of art school, but I keep telling him that art is what I'm passionate about, and it's what I want to pursue, and I definitely don't want to disappoint him. If my mom were here right now, she would want me to go to art school, you know? Your mom? Yeah. My mom died a long time ago, and I never really got to know her, and my dad doesn't really touch, talk much about her. And it's just me, him, and Leo, and it gets really hard sometimes. And you know what's strange? I feel like I can sense her somehow, like I can see her. Really? Oh my gosh, Tony. I'm really sorry. I can't imagine what it must be like. And your dad really doesn't get your art? No, not at all. He doesn't even get a chance to look at it. Actually, I brought my sketchbook. I wanted you to look at a couple of pictures. Tell me what you think. What does he say about it? <laughs> Nothing much. He barely, doesn't even get to look at it. He doesn't? No. Oh. Tony, your artwork is amazing. You've got to show him this stuff. 
Really? Yes. This is who you are. This is what you're meant to do. If you show it to him, maybe you have something to prove to him. Jen, why didn't I think of this? You're, you're a pure genius. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you later, okay? Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Oh, thank you. Yeah, All absolutely. right, bye. Take care. Well, so I guess I know what I have to do. Dad! Dad! What is it, son? Did you sign those papers yet? I need you to be serious about this for a second. All right, we'll make it quick. I have to get back to work. All right. I need you. This is kind of hard for me. Here. These are some of my drawings that I've. Tony, these are amazing. It's like you've just shot me back in time. Leo, get in here. Hey, Dad, what's up? Have you seen your brother's amazing artwork? Whoa. Oh, boys. I wish you could see her now. Her laugh, her smile, her face. What would she say? What would she do? I don't know why I've been ignoring your artwork for so long, Tony. Maybe if I'd known how powerful it was, I could have used it to help with my grief. What's the character's name? Well, I like to call her Katrina. I'm so sorry I've been ignoring your artwork for so long. 
It's your dream. I see that now. Thanks, Dad. So, Katrina, you're my mom. Yes, no one ever told you. This was for you to discover on your own. Tony, whenever you draw me in this book, you will automatically return to this world and I will be there. I will always be at your side. And remember, we're all rough sketches, just waiting to become masterpieces. We can only be who we are. We must embrace the distant stars within ourselves and share them with the world at all costs. It is only then that we can truly love each other and ourselves. Thanks, Mom. Drummer. 